Oh, it's not a character from Star Wars. It's a planet two and a half times the Earth and 700 trillion miles away and home to living organisms. And here's what we know right Powerful now. that it actually can analyze the chemical composition of atmospheres from far, far away. It shows molecules that can only be produced by living organisms. It's probably wrong. And that helps me temper my enthusiasm and my, my geekiness, excitedness, a with a dose of scientific skepticism, which we need to approach these kinds of results. Now, it's certainly the strongest evidence we've ever had for life on another planet, but it is are on the planet. It's not necessarily generated by life. We are at the very, very edge of what we can discover and detect with the web. And it will take a lot more analysis, a lot more study, a lot more investigation to, to rule this in or rule this out. How science progresses. We're all just looking for you to say, hey, this is proof that <laughs> aliens exist. But <laughs> a trillion miles away. Not we, can, we can make the call, but um, you're going to have to wait for that response. Absolutely. <laughs> like, we're the only known creatures in the universe. Don't we know the true variety of life out there in the cosmos. We are that in a few years, we'll realize that actually there is other processes, a process that could explain this, and that would be a discoverable process. So however you cut it, I think this is a win for science.